I mean, what the f What in the world is going on? Welcome to Comic Artist Pro Secrets. You're listening to me, Ethan Van Skyver, 28-year veteran of this goat rodeo that is a comic book industry. It used to be a comic book industry. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard uh, past 24 hours of news, comic book news. Your boy, Zach, a.k.a. Richard C. Meyer of Diversity in Comics, uh, was involved in a lawsuit with disgraced comic book writer Mark Wade for tortious interference and defamation per se. Uh, that lawsuit was uh, dismissed with prejudice yesterday, Zach and... Uh, Mark Wade, after two years and four months of delaying tactics, Mark Wade doing absolutely everything that he could to delay getting into a courtroom uh, with your boy Zach to talk about what he did. And it's clear what he did. There's a paper trail. He was so arrogant. Uh, he let everybody know what he did. And they actually, I mean, other people were like, hey, dude, why don't you cool it a little bit? Why don't you calm down? Uh, you know, why don't you uh, back it up a few paces? Uh, so uh, it was it was going to be a pretty cut and dry case, but you know th they kept extending it and extending and extending. It. Finally, Zach just said, "I can't spend more money. I've already spent so much money, and it's you know what am I going to do? Keep this going for three years? I'd rather get on with my life." And not only that, you know, I don't think your boy Zach was going to be able to prove damages. He's been incredibly successful since this uh, event happened, and it would be hard to say, uh, "Yeah, sure, you know uh, this guy." Took away my opportunity to work for a micro uh, brewery publisher, uh, and I fell into a much bigger situation, crowdfunding with Comicsgate, and I've made a million something dollars, whatever it is Zach's made. It'd be hard to show that there were uh, true damages. So anyway, uh, however you feel about that is how you feel about that. I know that I have certain uh, feels about it I had to work through on different live streams. Uh, I was on Nick Ricada's show when I first talked about it after hearing it, like, I'd heard about it, and 10 minutes later, I'm talking about it. And then uh, I did my own live stream uh, on this channel where we worked through it a little bit more. I've got, I still have my own opinions about it, uh, and I know that, you know, people are upset, but that's not what this video is about. You know, Mark Wade had a lawyer named Mark Zaid through this. Mark Zaid uh, is a television lawyer. Uh, Mark Wade is the guy who's always on MSNBC. Uh, Rachel Maddow asks him for his opinion. He looks like Rachel Maddow. Uh, and uh, this guy is, well, he's a kook, man. I mean, this guy is a woodwork wacko who chases UFOs. He's exhumed uh, Abraham Lincoln's assassin, John Wilkes Booth, to, because he didn't believe he read somewhere. Some lunatic told him that uh, John Wilkes Booth didn't really die when everybody said he did. He lived a, a long life. So let's exhume him and let's find out if that's actually, if that is actually John Wilkes Booth down there. The guy's a nut. Uh, anyway, uh, he's on Twitter. This guy's like a multi, multi, multi millionaire, and he's he's bothering me on Twitter. So uh, I said this, you know. He said, "Hey, it's a you know the case was dismissed with prejudice." Now me, uh, not a lawyer, but an intellectual. Uh, I said, uh, "Yeah, Mark Wade's lawyer is lying, saying it was quote dismissed with prejudice. It wasn't. Both parties decided to walk away cleanly. I guess that was Zach's choice. He was sick of it." Now. Uh, I thought dismiss with prejudice was something that a judge had to do. You know, I thought that the court heard the case and said, you know what, this is total crap. All of you guys get out of here. You cannot darken my courtroom uh, with this baloney. Hit the road, kick rocks, beat it. Uh, but that's not what happened. The, the two of them decided together that you know they were not going to go forward with this case, right? Uh, so out of the by the way, I didn't tag him in this. Nobody tagged Mark Zaid in this. He's name searching right now, and he's watching. This guy, this clown is watching me. This guy is one of the biggest TV lawyers. This guy is on all of these weirdo left-wing uh, cable news networks. And he's sitting there messing with me. He goes, want to bet? And he shows me. And by the way, before this happened, uh, another lawyer came forward and said, no, Ethan, you know, that's just, that's what they call it. It just means that the case can't be brought up again. It's dismissed with prejudice, you know, it, uh, th that is what it's called. And I was like, oh, my mistake. You know, I'm me, not a lawyer, but again, an intellectual. Uh, I didn't understand uh, that uh, that thing. This guy shows up like three hours later to, uh, no, how many hours later? So this is seven. Uh, I had this conversation seven hours ago. This guy shows up five hours later, won a bet. And I'm like, geez, what is up with you, you clown? Look at him. What is up with you, dude? Uh, why are you picking on YouTubers? Why are you picking on... Well, I mean, yes, I am a human sunbeam, I, uh, you know, all of that stuff, but why pick on me? Uh, and I just said, you know what, back to chasing UFOs and disinterring John Wilkes Booth counselor, and he did both of those things. This guy's a nut. Uh, and he says uh, to me, and he goes, uh, 
and back to your comics gate cave, Ethan. I'll be watching. How do you like that? How do you like knowing that, like, uh, this high-powered weirdo wackadoo lawyer, uh, this woodwork wacko who's going to wait and watch, uh, is doing this to... Look at this nonsense. Back to your comics gate cave, Ethan. This guy's a full-on stalker, but, you know, I... Uh, what are you going to do, man? I mean, this is uh, this is crazy. So I responded, you know, uh, bro, if you could spare the time between your YouTube viewings of Disney tweens, you know where to find me. In the sky, shining brightly. Yeah, this clown, Mark Zade, look at his YouTube page. Uh, he's sitting there. Okay, this is his, that's him, Mark S. Zade Esquire, uh, looking at stuff that you'd expect, you know, making some videos here, making some videos for people. These are some of his appearances on television. Uh, that's all interesting. Uh, does this guy understand how to not display his liked videos? Top 10 prettiest Disney Channel stars. What is this? Top 10 Disney girls? What the f... Selena Gomez from child to woman. That is an, that is an infant on the screen there. Uh, this dude is spending his time watching preteen girls on the Disney Channel... Uh, and he's arguing with me about it. I, I don't understand. This is my this is my whole affect. Why fight with me? I'm you know I'm in the sun. I'm I'm the sun. I'm shining brightly in the sky. Uh, so very very strange. Uh, very strange indeed. Uh, and uh, you know this guy again. He like this is what he gives me after that. I, I say hey uh, wacko, you're sitting there looking at underage children on YouTube. I don't know what exactly you're up to. Uh, and then picking on me. Just you know just a regular guy. He says, we'll reconvene, my friend, and see where R, well, this guy's, a, this guy's a, paid millions of dollars, R, uh, garbage here, respective careers might be as time goes by, but keep trying, and then he, he spits, he does this here, this whole, this is an SJW uh, gif here, why is this guy saying, hey, you know, we'll be back, and I'm gonna see if you're making as much money as I am in the future, Bro, you're a lawyer. I am a cartoonist. I'm a YouTube entertainer. Why in the world do you think that we could compete on that level ever, ever? Why are you saying this? Why are you slapping it on the table like this over that? Uh, and, uh, you know, I mean, what what do you... What in the world? This guy is absolutely insane. Uh, but I did have to just throw this at him. It's it's our counselor. It's our. It's our uh, anyway, what do you think of this guy? This guy is absolutely nuts. Uh, and uh, picking a fight with me over this uh, for nothing? I, I, stalking me? Stalking me? Stalking Disney tweens? Uh, allegedly? Apparently? And he's offered no explanation for that yet. I would love to hear an explanation. It just leads people to believe. You know, when you've got those videos on your YouTube channel, it leads people to believe. So, uh, allegedly, we don't know for sure. Uh, but it certainly is uh, very, very strange, strange behavior, right? I mean, th all of this is strange. This is strange. This is no. I'm, I'm. You know what? I, I I'm not gonna uh, qualify this in any other way. This is effing strange. That is, that is very, very odd behavior from an adult male uh, who has a lot to lose, who's a high-powered lawyer who's on TV all the time. Uh, you know, uh, fact-checking things for Rachel Maddow. And meanwhile, when he gets home. Uh, interesting. Very, very interesting. All right. Well, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. You want to talk about your boy, Zach? You want to sound off about that? I'm definitely here to listen. I will read all of your comments. Uh, and uh, what do you think of this guy? Am I in trouble with this guy? Is this guy going to be stalking me? Uh, <laughs> is this guy going to be... Look at him. He's he's saying he's going to... This guy's saying he's going to... Back to your comics gate. Back to your comics gate cave, Ethan. I'll be watching. Okay. All right, guys. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below, <laughs> and I'll be back later with another video. Hey, I got a PO box. Want to send me some mail? Send it to Ethan Van Skyver, PO Box 607, Marlton, New Jersey 08053, and I'll probably open it up on the live stream. Thanks very much, everyone. Hey, you want to follow me on Twitter? Are you sure? Well, if so, I'm at Ethan Van Skyver. That's at Ethan Van Skyver. See you there.